In the currency quadrant, taking a look at the June Canadian dollar, which is down for two straight sessions now. The Canadian dollar dropped for a second consecutive session, completing a one-third of a percent down week. This was pretty much a straight down day, with the high only being up one basis point. So we'll call that unchanged. We had a 73.94 high, 73.93 half settlement yesterday. So when we look at that, straight up day. Now, on the low, we were down 79 basis points at 73.35. And like I already mentioned, we finished down about a third of a percent on the day. That's essentially the entire week's move lower. Now, this weekly finish continues the downtrend since the Canadian dollar made a rotational high during the week of December 26th of last year. It's moved down 3.03% percent since then and has been down about 12 of the last 14 weeks. We did have March employment data in Canada today come out weaker than expected with the headline number showing a drop of 2,200 jobs and the unemployment rate rising to 6.1 percent. The expectations for job was an addition of 25,000 and the prior was up 40,700 jobs. On the unemployment rate front, the forecast was for 5.9 percent and the prior was 5.8. So it's a pretty Pretty, very big jump to get to 6.1%. The only positive data point was the hourly wages rose by 5%, which is higher than last month's read of 4.9%, but just not much of a move at all. Next week brings us a Bank of Canada interest rate decision, and most analysts are expecting them to hold their interest rate position at least until the next meeting. But given some of the weaker data, it is possible that on Wednesday of next week, that's when the rate decision is, they make further uh, statements to kind of clarify what they may do in the future. So keep an eye on that if you're trading Canadian dollar.